In 1977, a farmer named Manny Manus was digging a pond on his property when his backhoe hit something solid in the mud. Two massive tusks. He had no idea his shovel had just cracked open one of the most important discoveries in American archaeology. What he found would force scientists to rewrite not myths, but their own assumptions about who the first Americans really were. Archaeologists from Washington State University arrived, expecting a simple Ice Age skeleton. Yet one rib looked wrong. It had something embedded inside. X-ray showed a sharpened object driven deep into the bone. It wasn't natural breakage. It was a wound that had healed while the animal was still alive. If that's true, someone had speared a mastodon 13,900 years ago, centuries before the Clovis people even existed. For decades, that claim sounded impossible. Many dismissed it as chance breakage or animal damage. But in 2011, and again in 2023, Dr. Michael Waters and his team at Texas A&M used micro CT scanning to digitally excavate the fragments. They identified 24 separate pieces of foreign bone and reconstructed them with 3D printing. You can almost picture them at the workbench, holding a weapon last handled by someone who stood face to face with a mastodon. The rebuild showed a projectile tip, plano convex, sharpened, polished, a weapon made from mastodon bone itself. If that were an accident, how do you explain tool marks running perfectly parallel to its surface? A hunter had aimed for the space between the ribs, missed, and the point snapped as it struck the 14th rib. The mastodon survived weeks, even months, before dying. As a result, the bone healed around the embedded tip, preserving a 13,900-year-old story of impact and survival. Later, when the body was butchered, that rib was moved upslope, explaining why it was found apart from the rest. Radiocarbon dating of purified collagen placed the hunt between 13,790 and 13,995 years ago, almost nine centuries before Clovis. DNA proved the projectile was crafted from another mastodon's leg bone, evidence of planning, reuse, and ingenuity. That's not a primitive culture, that's adaptation. Sites like Cooper's Ferry in Idaho and Paisley Caves in Oregon f form a pattern. Together, they suggest that the first Americans didn't march through an ice-free corridor. They sailed a coastline. Even then, it wasn't myth or luck. It was navigation and memory. Clovis points were stone-fluted and iconic. The Manus Point was a bone-shaped and older. That means stone wasn't the beginning, it was the next chapter. The first Americans already understood tools, timing, and team hunting. If the Clovis first model still held, why does the evidence keep arriving from beneath it? The Manus Mastodon site doesn't just mark an ancient kill. It marks the moment when our story in the Americas truly begins. A hunter took aim, missed by inches, and hit immortality instead. That's it for today's video, folks. See you next time, right here on Documentify TV.